Hey everybody, it's Justin Shackle with Yankees On Demand presented by AT&T. What a homestand for the Yankees. They went 5-1 against the Red Sox and Orioles and keep separating themselves in the AL East. But now, it's time to head west. The Yankees pay a visit to the left coast for the first time this season, starting with three games against the Angels at Anaheim, then four against the A's out by the Bay. After going 8-5 in 13 straight games within the AL East, the jet lag and late starts creep into play for the Yankees, who went 9-4 on the road out west last season and 6-1 on the road against the Halos and A's. This will be their first look at the Angels this season, who are at 500 and currently operating without superstar Mike Trout, who's on the DL with a thumb injury. During the Yankees' five-game winning streak, they have made a whole bunch of noise, but the loudest thud has come from the bats. Entering the road trip, Yankee batters have scored at least eight runs in five consecutive games, tying their longest streak since 1939. And they're being led by Aaron Judge, who's kicked his game up even further here in June, where he's hitting 421. He's currently the American League Triple Crown leader and is coming off a weekend where he hit the hardest ball ever recorded at just over 121 miles an hour and the longest home run in baseball this season at 495 feet. Well, the hitting's been contagious and so is the pitching. The staff recently completed a streak of eight straight games in which they did not allow a single hit with runners in scoring position. That streak was broken on Saturday night, but still, opponents are just four for their last 54 with runners in scoring position against the Yankees. That means they're making their pitches in big spots, and they've also allowed seven hits or fewer in seven of their last eight contests. So the biggest question here is, can they keep it up? In the series opener, Masahiro Tanaka will start opposite Alex Meyer, and that question will be answered immediately because Tanaka is the Yankees' biggest question mark at the moment. He struggled mightily this season, having dropped five consecutive starts, with manager Joe Girardi saying the ace of the staff has been inconsistent mechanically. The Yankees moved Tanaka back a day to face the Angels, a team he owns a sub-2 ERA against in three career starts. In the middle game, CC Sabathia will face J.C. Ramirez. Controlling the inside part of the plate has been crucial for the big left-hander, and he's seen the fruits of that effect. He's been cruising in his last five starts, posting a 1.11 ERA over that span, including eight scoreless frames in his last outing against Boston. He's fifth in the AL with seven wins, and Sabathia can enter the All-Star conversation with a strong showing out west. In the series finale, Michael Pineda will go to the hill against Matt Shoemaker. Speaking of All-Stars, Pineda is also pitching to that level. It was more of the same from Big Mike in his last start against Boston. Seven innings, four hits, one unearned run, and eight strikeouts. He's already surpassed his win total from last season and is in line to make his next two starts against L.A., who ranked 25th in baseball with a 241 team batting average. The Yankees have found their most impressive groove of 2017. Fat numbers at the plate and a strong presence on the mound. I'll try to keep it going this week out in California. For Yankees on Demand, presented by AT&T, I'm Justin Jackal. You can see more Yankees on Demand and scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right here.